When I was younger, I was incredibly addicted to Snapchat stories. And I would always be doing homework or whatever I was doing. And then after finishing one problem or finishing one question or doing one task, I would pull out my phone and be like, oh, let me just check these stories. Let me see what my friends are up to. But it wasn't really my friends that I wanted to see. I like those discover tabs, the tabs that nobody even watches, the non-interesting tabs. They have nothing that's even remotely interesting there. And I would sit there and I would scroll through those stories. I would keep pressing, I would click it on the right. I would just watch every single story, even though I can't even explain to you why I did that, right? I can't even articulate why I did that because there was no reason for it. I didn't find it interesting. I couldn't even remember what I saw, but I was just on there every single day. It was a complete waste of time, but more than that, it drained the confidence that I had. It felt like I was losing control, even though I didn't really think about that in that way. And from now, from this standpoint, I can tell you that's exactly what happened. That's why I didn't have the confidence throughout the rest of my day because in my own head I was reinforcing that I don't even have control over my impulses but fast forward to a couple days ago right I was really productive I did a lot in the morning woke up at you know 4 30 was doing all my stuff I finished and I go to practice as well I'm, I'm working out I didn't practice I come back and then my brain's like hey you know what maybe we should just check out Instagram reels real quick like Maybe there's something, maybe there's something interesting on there. So I'm like, all right, fine. And I open up Instagram. At this point, I didn't realize it yet. And then something says, hey, let me just check out Reels real quick. Let me just, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me, let me just look at them. There's no real like reason to it, but it's almost just like a mumbling, an instinct, an impulse to check it, right? I, I press, you know, Instagram Reels. I scroll through a couple. And then I'm just like, bro, this is not even interesting. But then I get this other impulse. It's like, you know what? Go go one more. Maybe maybe that would be a little bit interesting, right? Maybe that would be a little bit interesting. And at that moment, I knew. I had caught my demons. I had caught my impulses. I had caught them. Until this point in my life, right? Maybe for the past you know, couple months, maybe a year. Until this point in my life. I was ruled by my impulses. My impulses controlled me. My impulses controlled me and I had no clue. I just lived and I thought that I was thinking. I thought that I knew what I was doing. When it was really just my impulses pushing me towards action. And it was such a beautiful moment when I realized that, wow. These impulses, they're not some higher power in my head. They're not something that just, oh, that I just have to do it right because that's just the right thing to do. No, they're just little chemicals in your brain that you have complete control over. It's a little voice that you think is so great that think, yeah, you think is telling you to do things when it really is this little demon, this little demon that you can make fun of. The little demon that you can laugh at. The little demon that you can destroy. So, how do we destroy this demon? How do we, you know, laugh at him? How do we capture him and point at him and look at him? You have to become the observer, right? If you just live your life thinking that everything that you do is the result of your thought, then guess what? Nothing will change. You, that's how you've been living, right? If you want to achieve this level of consciousness where you can sense your impulses, where you can feel how you want to be distracted, then you have to really think about what am I feeling right now? And I want you to think about it from an observer's perspective. Don't see your life from just your eyes. See your life as the puppet master behind the body that you're in, right? Almost envision that you're this puppet master who's playing these different parts that's moving your own body and making you think different thoughts. You want to see the thoughts for what they are. You want to see the feelings for what they are. 
and ask why. You know, why, why do I have this thought right here? Why do I have this feeling? Why do I have this impulse? So if my brain's telling me, oh yeah, well, we should go watch, you know, Snapchat stories. Wait, hold on. I'm the observer, right? So, so why do I need to do that? Explain to me why, right? Because this is not something that I need to do. This is a feeling that has come into my brain. It's trying to tell me what to do. Let me assess its credibility. That's what you do if you're an observer. You ask why. Think about it like you're analyzing that thought. How beneficial is that thought? What does this thought bring to the table? And it's so crazy. Like, it sounds so stupid and it sounds like nobody's going to do this. But when I started doing this, it's like another level of consciousness. It's like you're thinking for the first time again. And now I've made so much more progress towards my goals. I've actually done the things that would make me proud. I've been able to become someone that my younger self would look up to. And it's so wholesome. It's so wonderful. It makes me so happy. <laughs> and I realize that most people don't get that because most people just live in their impulse impulses, right? And we live in a hyper stimulated society where people who offer this hyper stimulation win. And the owners of Snapchat are the ones winning. They're reaping the rewards off of you being glued to the screen. That's them, not you. Right? Like, there are people who are winning off of your impulses. There are people who are happy that you have this you know, instinct and you can't control it. They're excited. They're making money off of you. And you're just going to sit there and accept it. I don't think that's the right thing to do. I think you should have a level of consciousness where you decide... Let me make sure what goes into my head is actually productive. Because if it's not, what's the point? Man? You want to always observe your thoughts, always observe your impulses. Because what happens is you achieve so much success and you're proud of yourself for once. Like when is the last time you actually felt proud? So to achieve this observing mentality, I have two things that I want you to remember. First, probably should cut out, you know, all these things that are stimulating you for about a week, right? Cut out the worst of your vices for a week. For you, if it's TikTok, cut out TikTok. For you, if it's Snapchat, cut out Snapchat, whatever it is, cut out that thing that is a vice into your head, right? Whatever, it might be a friend, honestly. It might be someone who's close to you. It might be an actual person. But whoever it is that makes you act in ways that you don't want to act, cut them out for one week and see what happens. And also in that time period, I really want you to focus on asking why to your thoughts. Asking why is this happening? Why do I have this thought right here? And you'll find that, man, life is easy now. Life is like, if you switch it like that, it's like on easy mode. You are the one that directs your future. And you do that by being able to observe your thoughts. All right, so remember those two points. Cut out your vice for about a week. And then number two, always be the observer and ask why to your thoughts. I hope you got something from this video. Go out and conquer.